right, so first up, we have a couple of revisions. We have a couple of revisions. Okay, first up, Open MV Cam. This is like the H7R2. We carry the R1. R1 is not available due to a part shortage. But they did have some R2s. They sent us over R2s. Um, the R2s have changed the camera. It's now, I think, an MT camera instead of like an OV camera. It's a little bit higher quality uh, camera module. Otherwise, the same circuit and chip layout and everything is the same. Um, software is the same because it auto detects which camera you have connected. Um, prices went up slightly, but otherwise it works great as uh, open MV H7 cam. So go for it. Just be aware it uh, uses a slightly different camera sensor. It's a higher quality one though. Next up, another revision. Okay, the Ultimate GPS has been revised. If you remember uh, for the last year or so, we've been struggling with, or a little bit more in the year, the company that made the GPS modules that uh, we've used for, for almost a decade now, uh, stopped making them. Um, but we found an alternative, uh, another company which makes a pin compatible, pretty much software compatible um, chip uh, and, and with antenna um, GPS module is available. Um, so we now manufacture it with that. The only real difference is instead of like the NMEA sen sentences starting with GP RMC, they now stand start with GN RMC, I think. There's a couple small changes, but uh, basically we can't get the old ones. And so this is what we got. The quality is the same. The performance is the same. Um, all the functionalities that we've used are the same. Um, in fact, I think some of the people at the new company are even from the old company, they kind of left and decided to like you know, keep this product alive. Uh, so we're glad to keep the ultimate GPS going. It's our favorite GPS unit. And uh, we're just going to keep yeah. making this GPS. We're here forever. Next up. It's Will Ferrell time. Yeah, JP made it, a little uh, or is it a little graphic that made Ferrell. it look like Will Ferrell. And this. Will Ferrell. Yeah. It's wire ferules. Um, these wire ferules. Ferules? Uh, these are kind of, you know, look, they're a little bit obscure, but they're still pretty handy. Um, so out of focus. So you get I bought their first album before everyone heard of them. Yes, they're a little obscure, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, hold on. Open this way. So you get different sizes, and each one of these is a little uh, plastic nub, and it's got a uh, metal bit. And actually, the metal bit is what you crimp. So you put a wire into here, and the wire actually should. Oh, this one's a little bit too small. Hold on, let me grab a gray one. Okay, yeah. So the wire actually goes into um, the metal bit, and then you crimp it with your crimping pliers um, to make it nice and flat. You squish it, and now you've got a wire with like it. Just it's kind of like those things that you, you know you have on the end of your um, shoelaces, the aglets. I think I don't know what they're called, but little things that just make it a little easier for you to like thread your um, your shoelaces if you have shoelaces. It's basically like that, but for wires. If you're going to be uh, using them in terminal blocks or, um, you know, attaching them in some way where, you know, you don't want them, to, especially uh, stranded core wires, you don't want the stranded cores to like fray and, and break off or something. Um, these ferrules are, are quite nice, they're a little luxury. They're used often in automotive and robotics, but they're, you know, look, it's a handy little kit. You get some of every single size from like mega huge all the way to like, oh, it's so tiny. That's the official size. Okay, next up uh, we've got this is a cable. Uh, it's a flex cable that goes specifically from a Raspberry Pi Zero or Zero W to a standard Raspberry Pi CSI camera. Um, we have a couple different cables, but we didn't have a long one. And a lot of people actually wanted a really long one. So we're like, okay, we'll go, we'll go get one for you. Um, it's just a flex cable. It works just like other cables. One side goes into the Pi Zero, one goes into the camera. This won't work with a non-Pi Zero, like a Pi 3 or Pi 2 or Pi 4, those, those are different cables that we have. Uh, the Pi Zero has a special connector you see on the left there, it's a little high de higher density. Um, that's what's used on the Pi Zero, so that's what you would use this for. Okay, the stars of the show tonight, we're gonna do two. The first one is the LED glasses, and then we have a, a final thing. So oh, yes. let's, uh, let's start off with topic. this. Okay. So we've got the starter kit and the glasses kit for the LED glasses. So we've had the LED glasses panel on the driver, and then people are probably like, hey, so how do I actually wear this? Well, you needed a pair of glasses that we designed it for. And we now have the kit in the store that you would attach the LED panel and driver to. And it like works quite nicely as a uh, mechanical um, substrate <laughs> for the circuitry. And the reason we did this is it's very, very hard to make circuit boards that are comfortable and wearable. 
it's a lot easier to get a you know two or three dollar um, plastic fashion glasses uh, that don't have lenses and then you strap your circuit board to them um, and then you have this you know comfortable and very sturdy and like well hinged uh, glasses and then you know you can attach any kind of circuitry you want um, and not worry because it's not your fancy glasses so let's um, I can show on the overhead how they're attached oh yeah yeah because I think that but okay so you can sort of see that these are plastic lenses and so they also have the little like nose protecto thing which is which is very nice um, and they're big and chunky which is great because they you know we designed the circuit board to fit over them you can't tell that there are glasses underneath because the pcb hides um, the glasses and of course the glasses have no lenses um, but there are they are like very nicely built they're very sturdy but not too expensive and they have nice uh, thick arms too and so you can uh, attach the um, driver to the side. I just use, I think, uh, double-sided foam tape or double-sided sticky tape. Yeah. But you can also um, zip tie them and to the side. We're, we're, you know, you can put in your own lipo, but because this goes on humans, we just did yeah. alkalines. So because it's on your face, <laughs> yeah. basically when, when stuff's on your face, I was like, you know what, if you want to use a lipo, you can enable the lipo battery, but the kit comes with AAA batteries and AAA battery holder with a little belt clip and extendo. And honestly, I think that's like the safest thing because uh, I know the overhead. So um, the, the computer. So you know, you've got your glasses, and then you've got this battery case, and then you know I just clip this to the back of my hoodie or my shirt. Uh, but you can also tie it to your belt. And it's AA batteries, or sorry, it's AAA batteries. They're not very heavy. Um, they're not very big um, or bulky, and uh, there's no risk of them getting punctured if you're like out, you know, dancing or partying or like a biting somebody because you're a vampire and you want to wear these glasses for some reason, even though you should, probably should be hiding if you're a vampire. Um, I don't know, vampire things. And then uh, if you, yeah, again, if you, if you really, really want lipo batteries. Also another thing is oftentimes when I'm wearing stuff like this, I'm at like Burning Man or a party or out at like um, New York City, like Halloween parade. Um, I need to have a, an extra set of batteries with me. AAA batteries are pretty easy to carry. Um, swapping out a lipo is a pain. Yeah. Okay, and uh, continuing on our stars of the show tonight, here it is. This is our star of the show tonight. Besides you, Lady our customers, our community, all the folks here in the chat, our team at Adafruit. Here it is, Mark and this shots. is why the code was brooches tonight. Brooches. Okay, this is a project from, um, this is Kitty's, uh, sorry, Kitty Flowers by uh, Art by Physicist. Art by Physicist is the name of the company. Uh, and Kitty is the person who made these flowers. These are kind of neat. They're these beautiful flower-shaped PCBs with RGB LEDs on the front. I think they're NeoPixels. And then on the back, um, you've got a... Let me see what ship this is. Whoa, it's buzzing. Because it's too far away, maybe. Hold on. It's like, oh no, I got disconnected from my friend. Okay. Uh, on the back is a um, Atmega uh, 30... Uh, 328 um, and it looks like you can program it over uh, USB-C here it's got like I'm sure some maybe some USB system uh, going on so you can program it because there's no USB to serial converter there's a buzzer um, there's a little clip so you can clip this on there's an accelerometer oh it's so tiny and there's a uh, Bluetooth radio um, so and then you can even see here it says pair and link oh well, I didn't see let's see let's see if you can oh yeah, they're linked. So when you have two of them together, uh, they will pair and then they will um, you know, know that they're near each other. And when I think they're far apart, one notices and can like alert the other. Oh, yeah. And um, you can do like other fun projects where- Here, give me one. All right, I'm here. I'll say I didn't I'm actually here. try this. I'm here. And then should I go away? Maybe. It still says link. I mean, it's gonna work from kind of far away. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go near. Yeah. I'm going to go far. Okay, bye. Far. It still says link. I don't know how I got it to... Uh... What if you shake yours? Phil? Yeah. No, it's the, the, the radio still works. I think you have to be like either really, really far away or maybe like you have to shake it. Or really shake it. No, no. We'll, we'll play around with these. We'll play around with these. We just more. got these in. We just got them in. But... Um, Give them a... Oh, do you want to go to the overhead again? Oh, yeah. Sorry. 
Um, you're going to give them a LiPo battery. They do have a LiPo charger, um, but they don't come with a battery, so it's easy to ship. But we stock all sorts of batteries, so you know any, any LiPo battery you stock will work just fine. And then um, there's example code um, on the DF Robot website for how to program this to make like different paired Bluetooth like syncing projects. Um, so they come as a pair, and you're kind of intended to sort of program them as a pair, where one person gets one, one person gets the other, and then maybe you can like have them communicate with each other. And that's new products this week. Very beautiful. Ooh.